Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to do the, the 100 hardest data sufficiency questions and this is question number two in the series. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So this is a data sufficiency question and uh, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. So it says if A does not equal to zero, so that means the value of A is not equal to zero. Uh, the question is asking us, it's a yes, no data sufficiency question, is 1 over A uh, greater than A over B to the power 4 plus 3, right? Now we can't further solve this, we can't go further steps into this because we do not know whether A is positive or A is negative. Uh, if A was positive, then we can of course cross multiply and we can move forward, but since we do not know whether A is positive or A is negative, this is what we have to uh, move forward from. So the first statement says that a is equal to b square. So when a is square of a number that means a is definitely positive, right? So a is a positive number. Now if a is a positive number then what I can do is I can actually cross multiply here so then this question statement becomes is b to the power 4 plus 3 greater than a square? So that's what it becomes. So I can take this to this side and take this to the other side so now I can substitute the value of a. Uh, so the question is asking us is b to the power 4 plus 3 greater than instead of a I'm going to substitute b square. So b square square. So the question is asking me is b to the power 4 plus 3 greater than b to the power 4. Well the answer is always a yes because uh, the number plus something is always going to be greater than that number. So this statement is sufficient. It's either answer option A or D. Uh, let's move on. Let's see the second statement. The second statement says A squared is equal to B to the power 4. Now in here A can be positive as well as A can be negative because if A is 1, uh, B is 1, it's possible. If A is negative 1, B is 1, then it's still possible. Right, because negative 1 square is 1 to the power 4. So, so you clearly A can be positive and A can be negative. Now if you substitute these numbers back, if you substitute this set of numbers back into this uh, question stem here, so uh, is 1 over A greater than A over B to the power uh, 4 plus 3? Right, so and of course understand that B can be negative 1 as well, right? So A can be negative 1 and B can be 1. So basically they all of them A and B can take any combination of uh, 1 and negative 1, right? If this was the real GMAT test, I would say okay, this is insufficient because I can clearly see that in any combinations of 1 and negative 1 This is going this question stem is going to satisfy and not satisfy in some scenarios But let's just find the scenario where it gives me a yes and where it gives me a no so if I just substitute 1 and 1, what do I get? I get 1 is 1 over A, uh, which is is 1 over 1 greater than 1 over 1 plus 3, right? So that's what it is. Uh, so the answer here is a yes, because 1 is greater than 0.25. On the other hand, what I can do is I can substitute A's to be a negative number. So is negative 1 over 1 greater than negative 1 over 1 plus 3. So now the question here is a no. Right, so it's not because negative 1 is not greater than negative 0.25. So I have a yes, I have a no, that means this statement is insufficient, hence answer option A is my answer. So uh, I hope everyone understood this problem here. It was a difficult problem but uh, not so difficult uh, that you wouldn't be able to solve this under two minutes. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video guys. Uh, make sure that you visit our website which is perfect-course.com. Um, uh, just uh, check out our Facebook page and do let us know if you have any, uh, any feedback or any question or anything regarding uh, our courses and uh, the services we offer. Uh, of course, you can always email us at support at perfectscourse.org. Alright, so thank you very much guys. Have a good day.